Hey everyone, Dr. Samson Davis. I'm here to talk to you about the other doctor in your life. Dr. Google, WebMD, you name it. These are doctors that we refer to in time of need. Many of us go online and do our search when we have a call for sore throat to see what's happening in our life. And this is great. But the problem, the problem here is that we go online and you start to kind of manifest your system, symptoms to grow into something that it isn't. Fever, cough, sore throat, before you know it, you have some life saking parasite growing inside of you or some life threatening disease that's going to wipe you from this planet. I know, I see it all the time. I'm guilty of it. I have a patient the other day came in with sore throat, cough, swore he had meningitis, wanted me to do a spinal tap, give him these fancy antibiotics, admit him to the hospital, and it turned out that he had mono. Now, granted, mono is serious, but I would take mono any day over meningitis. So we have to be careful when going online. We live in a very fast-paced society, cookbook society, where we want answers right away. But the way that the mind works, when you go online and you start to search these things, these ailments, you, also, you all of a sudden grow into uh, uh, the worst case diagnosis, our mind goes to the worst place or the worst case scenario. So something as simple as a cold or a runny nose or sniffles now become pneumonia, cancer, and become some sort of growth with inside your body. So you have to be very, very careful when searching WebMD and Dr. Google. Do the best thing, come see me. I could then decipher the information, separate what is what, because a lot of ailments have overlapping symptoms. So you can't have cough with everything. You can have vomiting with pretty much every diagnosis there is. So make sure you be very, 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 very careful when going online and self-diagnosing yourself.